What? What's going on? I'm the College Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. In the last episode, we got the Stone of Drought. And we're getting ready to go to the Cascade Cave so we can get the Metal Babel Sword. And a couple other things in there. I'm just going to show you where to get, how to get to it. You see that little crease in the land? In that far right corner there? There's a little thing that kind of dips in to the land a little bit. That's our destination. Not that hard to get to from uh, Soretta. But, you know. Uh, this episode is going to be a little different. As I'm going to leave out, I'm going to leave in all the random battles because one, there was way too many for me to edit out, and two, I did promise in my update video, which I posted about a month ago. Uh, that I was going to do a thing called Let's Play the Game. And I posted a disclaimer of it too, if any of you guys remember it. Uh, basically, it's just going to be a bunch of videos expressing my opinion on, you know, how to go about approaching and uh, conversating with the opposite sex. And I uh, hope you guys like it. It's just my opinion. It's no, it's no PUA stuff. It's no pickup artist stuff. You know, I don't claim to be a guru on how to get that one girl of your dreams. No, it's just going to be my opinion on what I believe females would like to hear from from males and what they usually hear and see and experience all that other kind of stuff. Completely from a heterosexual male's point of view because Honestly, I don't know any different because I'm a heterosexual male. <laughs> can't, can't put it any more blunt than that. I was gonna make it. I was gonna like make it somewhere to a Kim, Kingdom Cards is a punch out walkthrough. You know how he has, you know, how he has how to beat every opponent and like, what phase and everything. But uh, I just that I couldn't do that. I don't, have, I don't have the time or the money or the resources to do it. I mean. I lost my main source of audio recording in my digital camera, so now I have to use this shitty mic on Windows Movie Maker, which sucks. So, yeah, I just, it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen the way I want, but I'm still gonna try and fit in a little bit of Let's Play the Game in episodes like this, where I can just go through a cave, and it's a big dungeon crawler anyway, so... Why cut it short? Anyway, I'm taking uh, Hero, Alina, Nara, and Mara with me. I need Nara's extra healing for this place, and I need Mara's fire spells. They're going to be very useful, because a lot of the enemies here you fight are enemies from the sea. Only, you know, a, couple, a few levels above. <laughs> yeah. So use a stone of drought there. If you have the magic key, you can go ahead and pick up the sand glass of regression, but you're going to need the final key to get through the rest of the cave. So, keep that in mind. If you just want to get the sand glass of regression, you could have done this right after getting the magic key if you want, but I have made the decision to not do that, to just do the whole cave in one shot. We got some new enemies here. We got Balakuda, Dual Slake, Dual Snake, and Mini Demon. Uh, Balakuda and Mini Demon can use Blazemore, which makes them, which makes them assholes. And Dual Snakes can use Stop Spell, but they usually don't, because they usually die within a hit or, or two. Balakuda have about 100 HP. Mini Demons have about 85, something like that. I'm just guessing. Going by what I see in the recording. Ooh, critical hit from Nara. Nice. Oh, god damn. What? Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. The encounter rate here is just that high. I just do not want to... I did not want to edit out all these fights. Took too much. 
uh, there's another new enemy, Maelstrom. They can use... I think they can cast Inframore and hit your whole party with it. They have about 100 HP, not that hard to kill. <sighs> Balakuda, I swear to god. If you're using the strategies, not doing the whole follow orders thing like I'm doing, be at a much higher level here. <laughs> Because you'll be much more limited than I am. Because I can just use, you know, I can just use the boom spell whenever I want, but, you know, you won't have that liberty when you're using the strategies. Now, on to, uh, I guess my abridged version of Let's Play the Game, since it was going to be a lot more epic than this. You know, so I was surfing on Facebook, and, uh, a couple of my friends just had some uh, pretty funny observations of just random dudes hitting on them. Uh, the first one is my friend Maria, I guess, just got a new boyfriend. So now, when guys hit on her in a bar, or even when she's single, when she went, when I knew her, when she was going to school with me, you know, she really did not like it when guys hit on her at all. Which, I mean, she's a really cool girl, so... You know. But she posted a thing with this guy saying... I think the thing was, like... She was, like, typed in, Slick guy at a bar. Oh, you're the most wonderful girl in this place. And... Maria's like, Oh, my boyfriend thinks so also. You know what I mean? And... Yeah, so that's... That's the first example of what not to do when you're meeting a female for the first time. The second example is a thing that my friend Jessica posted. She was, I think, going in a, uh, through an elevator or something, just walking, just coming, uh, going, uh, leaving her job, and this guy like walks up to her and starts chatting with her and like, and she's like, "Oh, I gotta go." And a few seconds after the, after she said that, the guy is like, what, no kiss? And she posted that on Facebook, you know, and I posted a comment back saying, wow, what a creep. And she's like, yeah, the guy was a complete slime ball. So, so yeah. Uh, we got a new enemy here, Tentagore. And my voice just cracked, it's pretty crazy. Tentagore have a lot of HP, they can do two hits per uh, turn. Nothing much to worry about. At least they're not casting Blazemore on you. I don't know any spells to my knowledge. But something like that, what I just said about uh, Jessica and Maria, no, that, that, that proves two points. Uh, one, you really can't, you can't just be belligerently hitting on females and expecting to get anywhere. If you do that, then you're just treating the thing as a blind numbers game, and you may as well walk up and do that to a hundred females in a day, because out of those hundred, not even one of them is going to say yes. It's probably one in two hundred chance where if you walk up to a girl and you go, you know, oh, you're, you're real beautiful, or oh, you know, let me get your number, and you just, and that's the only thing you have to say. A lot of females aren't going to like that. A lot of people aren't going to like that. So, you've got to be less, you got to be less direct, but you don't want to be that so indirect as to come across as just a potential kid that she, that she's going to know. You know what I mean? There's a difference between a friend and a kid that you know. I mean, there's plenty of kids that I know that I just don't really hang out with, but I have just a few friends. But that's going to be covered in the next episode, because I'm running out of time here. So, yeah. In the next episode. Uh, keep crawling through this dungeon, and uh, keep talking about some game. Peace.